demonstration of making one of the quail planters. I wanted to put out the different kinds of containers. So I like using the wider one uh, so you can get your hands in and I've lined them with the thinnest gossamer plastic bags I could find. You also need another bag so that you can put it on the back side of the container when you put the 3 8 inch slab base on top of it. You'll also need uh, one of these. It's the mm, wooden cutoff stick with the pointy end and the tongue depressor. And you also might need a wooden spoon, a uh, sponge, um, a dull pencil, a needle tool for when we do the parquet floor. But really, all we're using is a table in our hands and some water, uh, a spray bottle, and uh, a rag to wipe your hands, and then a, t a tub of water so that you can um, get your table primed uh, with, with, with the sponge, but also you're going to use it to keep your hands moist at all times because your hands keep drying all the time, and you need to be able to just, just kind of pounce your hands on the wet sponge and kind of clap them together. Um, especially, you'll need to do that when you're going to change colors. And then, of course, you see here, I have some red stoneware and I have some white stoneware. It cannot be B-mix and stoneware or porcelain and stoneware of red or dark brown. It has to be white stoneware. We could have also used dark brown stoneware, but to make things simpler, I'm just going to use two colors of stoneware today. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to prepare my surface. It's going to take a little while for the water to come in there. So um, today what I'm going to do is a demonstration of the, um, the a sampler. A sampler. Uh, so all the different styles that you possibly could do, I will do. But the first thing I'm going to start off with is the base. So because my white clay here is a little bit stiffer than my red clay, I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to just make it like into a little hamburger patty. And kind of like if you've ever made tortillas, uh, what I'm doing is making it round as possible at first. You can do it by kind of driving the car on the table like this. You can hold it like this is the steering wheel of your car. All of this I'm doing standing up. It, it strengthens your, your, quad, your quadriceps and helps you um, going up and down stairs and maybe catching yourself if you step off a curb wrong. It, you can kind of catch yourself so you don't fall. So I'm, all of this is done totally standing up. You can also use a, um, what's, what's the name of that kind of table? The plastic, what's the name of the table? Mm, formica. If you have a formica table or if you have a um, one of these plastic uh, cutting sheets that you'd use in your kitchen. So if you don't, if you don't have a wood surface table or formica, and you have one of these plastic cutting sheets for vegetables, you could you could be working on that as well. So it's taking a while for the water to soak into the table, and that's just fine. But after it gets primed, it'll be really good. So I make this as round as I possibly can. I can use my thumbs and pinch like so. Pinch and turn, pinch and turn. I can kind of clap with the back of my hand. And what I'm, what I'm thinking is, how big is my base? So I've, I've determined that I'm going to end up using a, a round. I could, I could have done a triangle, which would have gone beyond, or a square, which have, would have gone beyond, like little kit, kitten ears coming down here. But I'm, I'm just going to make it simple today. I'm just going to go with a round one. So I, 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 I hit it to one hand, I turn it over. But when I do, I'm spinning my hand so that the actual piece of clay is rotating between my two hands. And then every once in a while, you just put it down and see how you're doing. So I'm, I'm, I'm get, it's going to be close. I, I got pretty much the right amount of clay. So that's the other kind of fun I like to have, is I like to estimate. When I was first learning um, algebra and those kind of things and calculus, it, it was back in the day where we still used um, uh, K and E, Kufler and Essler uh, slide, slide rulers. 
And when you use a slide rule, the thing you always do is you estimate where the decimal goes, where you're going to do some kind of multiplication or division. And then you use your slide rule to do that. This is before, uh, this was before <laughs> Texas Instruments came out with its little calculators. So I always like to estimate how much clay do I need to, to get to be 3 eighths of an inch thick that's going to fit this bottom. So I'm almost there. So you don't even need a rolling pin for this. I'm trying to show you, you can just use your hands. Hands, water, sponge, pencil, pretty much really all you need. Maybe a needle tool. It, you can also pinch it and stretch it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going by how it feels. And as I'm showing you in the camera, as I'm rotating it, you can see some areas are slightly thicker. And then the thinner areas, I'm going to kind of leave those alone as I'm rotating and I'm looking at it, but I'm also feeling it. So it's kind of like a biofeedback where you're feeling it, you're looking, you're using your eyes, you're using how things feel. And now see, I want it to be just a little snug when I put it in there. Now, and I've determined that that's, that's, that's good enough. So I'm going to just plunk it down on my little piece of plastic there. Uh, I wanted to show you another way you can sign your name using a sheet of plastic and your dull pencil. So um, the first thing I'm going to kind of mark is, okay, so you have to decide, like, see, this one's even wider. So this one would have gotten four feet. I would have put one here, one here, like northeast, southwest. On this one, I think I could get by with three feet. Do I want to do three? Nah, I think I'll do four. So I'm going to just mark off Half the foot goes here, half the foot goes on the side. So I'm just going to mark off northeast, southwest, so that I don't write my name and then, you know, cover it up with my foot. So, for the foot of my pot. So I'm going to, um, and if you write your name in a circle manner, you can get more letters in and be able to still have your name nice and big. So, you see how I'm kind of holding the pen at an angle? I'm not going straight down, I'm holding it at a slant. So we want your first name. We want your last name. And every time I do this, I always think of Steve Jobs and him in his calligraphy class. After he dropped out, he, he, he actually took a calligraphy class. And that was so important for the font of his Max. OK, Apple. Well, here we go. Now we're going to put the classroom. So let's say we're in the Monday class. So I'm going to put M-O-N. Today's Monday. And I'm going to put the month. It's still March. And the year is 2024. So that's all we really want to see on that. And then see when you pull this plastic off, you don't have any of those burrs to deal with. Okay. Now, to get this inside, here's what I like to do. I like to find the absolute center of the bag. And I like to put my name right in the middle, like that. And, you know, we do live right next to the cemeteries here. So just kind of think about when they're lowering the casket into the, into the grave, we just go, oops, yeah. And we just lower it. So the name, the name would be on the outside already. Then you pull the plastic, push it up against the edge, and you, you use this part of your hand here to press it down to make sure you're totally up against the inside edge. Okay, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to start. So it's now you're going to go to your plan. So you've, all, you've already made a plan of, of, of what you're going to do.